in spirit. So, um, <clears throat> thanks for sending me the text of this. Yeah, well, I think there's a couple things. One, <laughs> your argument against him that he's saying it's just in these um, electron gaps or whatever they are. Uh, I mean, I wouldn't. I, I wouldn't. It seems like you're assuming that. I mean, I'm not that familiar with him, but he can't be saying that's all that's needed. And you, you what? You don't need a hippocampus. So. Of course, it's just one factor, but the issue is we know a lot of what's needed. You know, the, you use the example of the cardiovascular system, uh, obviously not being a component of consciousness. Well, it is. It's a foundational one. It's it's the, we need our whole biological system. So they all add together. That's not the hard part. We see how a lot about how the heart is managing to pump blood around the body, and that is not the confusing factor. When we ask what is the seed of consciousness. Um, I agree with you, it's going to be a distributed system, but we're talking about finding some mysterious ingredients because there's nothing uh, found in classical physics that could ever do that. So of course we would go look at other areas of physics, especially ones that have this weird uh, relationships to observance and this kind of entanglement between uh, having collisions with uh, related packets of energy. So yeah, I, um, I mean, I agree that of course it's going to be a system, but it is not merely a matter of trying to uh, get an amazing phenomena to describe it because it seems amazing. You know, we did, we spent hundreds of years trying to describe our systems in terms of classical mechanics, and uh, people assumed it could be done because that's all the physics there was. But now we know there's more physics. Um, and there's going to be more physics beyond what we have now. So, uh, the question of consciousness is really, what is the secret, uh, secret ingredient that seems to defeat determinism? See, and that's why having a, uh, an entangled state makes sense because when in, in entangled states, all of the possibilities happen, and you can evidently end up with just one possibility in the end and there's a way to make that possibility probable and achieve things like super efficient uh, photosynthesis probably anyway cheers thanks for the video